we left off at Kaloon level 5. Go and find sort of whatever it was. And we're probably going to end up fighting Crusadermon here. As always. ほかにルートはないので、どうにかしないと。早く、早くどうにかしないと。私の身が心配なだけ心配してくれたなんて私頼んでません。勝手に心配 ですが、友達ぶって妙な気を回さないでもらえますか。私の心の中で何を見聞きしたか知りませんけど。私、あなたと友達になったつもりはありませんから。はこれだけ言いたいことが言える相手となら友達になれる。ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっ
限界と不可能が支配する現実世界のようにスエドウさんあなたはリエさんの正体に気づいていたんですかその上で協力をクラフスおーナイス彼女の精神が人間ではない何者かであることには気づいていましたただそれがロードナイトモンというデジモンだったとまではさすがに知りえませんでした付け加えるとすれば彼女の行為には私もほとほと困り果てているのです彼女は人類だけでなく世界そのものを破滅に導こうとしていますこれは私の望みとはかけ離れているいやもはや暴挙以外の何者でもない私の夢はあくまで世界の進化であって破滅ではないのですからそこでお二方に提案です我々は最終的な目標こそ違えど現段階での利害は一致しているはずここは一つお互い協力をし合いませんか協力あなたに彼女がデジタルウェーブの制御に使っているプログラムは元を正せば私が組み上げたプログラムゆえに私ならば像をさもなく停止させることが可能ですですがロードナイトモンさんに襲われたら私などはひとたまりもありませんそこで当座の目的達成までボディーガードを依頼したくここは彼と協力しましょう少なくとも今すぐにでも世界を滅ぼそうとしているリエさんよりは話が通じる相手です I don't want to punch him in the mouth. Yeah, yeah, that's good. He must. So, I guess that's so good. Lovely, jubbly. Is a mighty much. That's the interchange. Such incredible density. Particular way of behavior to be visible at such a level. We make it that far, can we stop the flow? Yes, we just enter the shutout command directly. Doing that, that will block a digital wave flow and that should halt the supply to X1 as well. There are traps set up throughout the area. Interference fields jamming communication with the outside too. How very thorough. Then does that mean that Crusader Mine is hiding somewhere in this area after all? But they seem to be detecting a larger data mass. Both of us could say the one bit is certainly one of the entities known as the Royal Knights. Who are you? Sure. Just go back a minute. Do a farm, and then we'll go and fight Crusader Mon, which is going to be a bit of the old strug strug. I will presume. How much money do I have? Oh, enough. No. Go get some shit one action too. <laughs> Maybe if we if we have the struggles or not winning. Well, have to level up. I think we've got all the shit mons with us right now. We do indeed. Let's uh, save. So I'll have to go through all that again. There's no longer a hacker you passed through long ago, left as much as hackers to come. Darkness lies ahead. If you think you're a great hacker, then you know not to underestimate what looks like nothing at all. Even it's just a collection of data. <clears throat> it's easy to forget that the barrage of data sent to Avatar's five senses, but this is not the real world. 
I bet she thought it was a path could suddenly become something complete, something completely different. Darkness, that's what lies ahead. If you're a skilled enough hacker to be able to encrypt this log, you should be able to figure out what that really means. Not really. Oh, let's mine that. Get out of it. I want to see how much XP it gives me. Yes, I'm certain that those wicked traps could only be set by Crusader Mon. What traps? Did I get did I get the right path straight away? Let's go. Probably in order to buy time. No underhanders, as well as malicious mysteries. Uh personalities to be shown through. What are you laughing at? You jerk. Whoa! Please, can people stop fucking... Honestly, it's Digimon. Can I turn it off, please? Ah, that's what he said about the traps. Where do I start? Ah! Oh! Fuck, let's get the shit out of me, I'm not gonna lie to you. Love the traps! Ah, oh, fuck's sake. Okay. Huh. Fucking panic with shit all. Cheers for hitting me. There's some weird looking Digimon out there, there are, there are a lot of weird ones. Snow is on the last Digimon game we played. Oh god. Uh, where am I? All the way at the start? No? Oh, I'll say that. Uh, where am I going? How do I get out of here? Oh, I'll try. Alright, we go again. I'm just on the item box. Memory up. We'll take a bit of that.
Nothing ventured, nothing gained. If you think you're a great hacker, then you won't hesitate to get anywhere, even places you thought were dangerous. We're hackers, aren't we? An off-limits path or a secret door, those restrictions don't apply to us. No one can tell a hacker what to do. Even whether to go ahead or turn back, that's something you should decide for yourself. But don't forget, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Okay. Uh, let's go right. Let's keep going right. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> Why are we so slow? I have literally the most slowest Digimon ever. Alright, we are healed, right? Okay. Safe. So it looks like it's about to go down. That's not Crusader Mon. Is that Leopard Mon? No, Crania Mon. Well, Crania Mon. グドラシルに絶対の忠義を誓うもここを通すわけにはいかん。リエさんはロードナイトも全くにいるんですか。ないファンキュー。ワンオッケーウェイ。お前たちはここで果てるのだ。なあ、イフアイレメンバークライネモ
Oh, we don't have any data, did you? We do have data, did you want? That's actually fine, I'm just bombing. Bombing with his stupid fucking defense. Ah, uh, let's break his guard, I guess. The usual. Break his guard, bomb one attacks. Keep attacking them, be fine. This shouldn't be too bad. It doesn't seem to be that much of a threat, and if he kills bot one, which I should probably heal. Oh, well, GG. We got this one in the bag, this one's not gonna be too hard. I don't feel like we've already done half the damage. What the fuck does that do? Ah, oh, fuck me. Nothing counts. Shut up. Fine with me. How does it last? Well, that seems gone now. Uh -huh. We're getting balance, okay. So as long as it doesn't kill me. Yes, keep attacking them because they don't die. There we go, we got this, we got this now. Okay, we haven't got this yet. Now we got this. There we go. Cranium one was easy. Easy claps and D Kiwi. Or memory X memory DX as well. わがはいの心には迷いと疑いがあった。あろうことか。イグドラシルへの、そしてルフトモンたちへの。わずかなものではあったが、それが弱さとなったのだろう。いや、そういうことは先に言っておいてほしかったですね。それに、たとえ弱さであったとしても、疑いの心を持つということは、そこにあなたの意志があった。何よりの証拠ですから。それは紛れもない変化です。私。うん。憎らしいが。奇妙で愉快な存在だな。
Slack right now, Mom. いや、消えてしまいましたか。悲しいですね。知らじらしい言葉ですね。こうなるよう仕向けたのはあなたじゃないですか。反論はしませんが、事実は事実。どうあれ、悲しい言葉は悲しいのですよ。さあ、これで供給は止まりました。エグザモンは力を失い始めるでしょう。スエドさん、あなたも父の死に関わっているんですか。お父上の死は残念でなりません。彼が描いていたエデンの理想像は本当に素晴らしかった。労働ナイトモ
Alright, what is next? Oh, of course, there's cases. Alright, oh, yes, I was in the room of thing, but apparently now there's in the kind of bulletin board. I thought this was the bulletin board. Fuck, we've got so many cases. One, two, three, four? Okay, how does one find in the can of bulletin board? Oh, hello. Bulletin board is part of people's grievances. I hear strange groans during the night. I saw a monster's shadow inside the can of Broadway. Bizarre things are happening more and more. What's going to happen to us? The detective agency's got to be behind us. I was just pretend I didn't read the last part. Hey, we've got another case to tackle. Hope you're ready for another day of hard. Hold on, what's this about the bulletin board? So people are saying the space is taking a turn for even weirder, all right? Sounds like residents have a lot of pent-up frustration and they're lessing out now. We definitely aren't lacking the people who've got it out for us. Once you're a bad apple in their eyes, you're always one, even if you're innocent. Let's see what we can do to clear our good name, what do you say? Okay, right. We've still got the challenge cup to do as well. We're on a gold one right now. Okay, so we've got five cases. Let's go through. Um, should we do the ones that we had already first? Uh, yeah, let's do this one first. Ah, detective, please, I have a favour to ask you. So I went out to Shinjuku with my mother the other day and saw this mysterious navy blue creature. When I asked my friend, he said, that's Metal Grey, Mom. But anyway, his face looked really sad and he looked cold, like he was going to freeze to death. So I wanted to give the creature a warm quilt as a present. Will you come with me to the store over there? He's not cold, he's, um, the black metal grey one. Hey, you please come inside and see how cool. So today is a sale one, special lower price, just for today. Wow, look at that, that blanket looks really fluffy and warm. Ah, well, miss, you certainly have a good eye. This blanket is made of high quality materials, just ask your babysitter if you can get it. Oh, please detect it, please buy that one, I'm sure the creature will really like it. The blanket was originally 12,000 yen, but it's on sale for 10,000 yen today. If this is the one you want, can we lower the price a bit? Oh, you want to achieve on this? Mm, that's tough. I suppose, if you're really going to buy, I guess you'll lower a bit more. I see, I'll knock off a bit more, how about 8,000? Sure, why not? Cheers for the luck, mate. Here's the deal, and take it out change my mind. It's for eight, eight grand on a blanket. I'm sure this will make the creature happy. You too, bud. But my mum says I'm not allowed to go too far away, so I'd like you to take this creature in, to this creature inside. Please take it. Okay. So, Shinajuku. We all lose the gambles. You don't need points to over <laughs> I don't think anyone needs points right now, to be honest, mate. And no one wins them. I've been thinking to take... I've been thinking to take the points off. Nah, I'm only joking, I'm joking. I love the games in there. The games are amazing. Right, Shin and Juke Juke. Mel Greyman Blue. I always come over here first, and there's always no one over here. Don't you dare take them off. <laughs> oh, what, Kiwi? Oh, what? Where is. Where is the boy? This is a Shinjuku, right? Right. Oh, there you are. Damn her. Huh? Was it? If you don't want anything, just go away. I'll bite you. Ah, right, this little human girl got this for me. I looked cold, so she asked you to bring me this. Wow. Oh, it was so warm. But to be honest, I wasn't actually cold. After I came to this wild, I was afraid some heartless humans would attack me, so I quickly changed my body. But because I rushed to change my body, it's in court IBS, yeah, so I'm walking around in pain on like this. I suppose I must have looked cold. Splank is super warm. Humans are actually very nice. So can you give me this, give this to that little girl, please? Old music box. Please tell her I said thanks for the blanket. No worries. Or a cry? No, 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 no. No cries. Crying's banned. Come on now. 
don't don't put me on this. Yes, I know I shouldn't go through, but I can go invisible. It don't really matter. Does it? Uh, third, third floor, right? On the escalator. So they don't have the blanket, so you found a creature then, right? Was he happy with it? Really? That's great. So the creature gave me a present. Ah. The old shaped bo music box plays a sweet tune from the palm of the little girl's hand. I don't know what to say, but for some reason I feel warm and tingly. Even though it's cold today, that's weird. So thank you for taking my case. You see, I'm moving to Hakoda tomorrow. I was feeling sad about having to leave all my friends, but hearing this made me feel better. No worries. One down, four to go. Always good to get the ranks up. A farm expansion plugin, thank you. Uh, what have we got? We've got three star, two star, two star. Not enough food. Growl one. Ah, uh, where is he? Star Brewery, a third floor! Go into this bloody whatever it is. Okay, I don't know if I've been here before, so there could be some boxes. Let's ground one. Mm, okay. So I don't know if I've been here before, or I, just, I think I have been here before, and I might have just restocked the thing. I'm pretty sure I've got memory DX. There we go. Do we still have Pelgrim on the bus? Oh dear. It needs to be like level 85 or something for him to do your other in Pelgrim Which is going to be a bit annoying. I'd love to have him early. But you can't do what you can't do, I suppose. Also, I should probably change my Digimon back. I'm guessing we're gonna end up fighting Axum on next. Possibly. Hey, right, here about the case, right? Thank you for taking this on. Truth is, recently my master hasn't been feeling well. Her appetite is gone and she hasn't been eating her meals. If she keeps not eating like this, I'm sure she will faint. So I was thinking of making her some of my favourite ramen. As, uh, so uh, as I need more bones to make the broth, I need to get one from Ogamon. I'm pretty sure Ogamon is somewhere around here. Please go find him. Okay, so where the fuck's he gonna be? Do I have to get back for him or? Oh, there it is. Please leave me alone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you want from me? He would have a grandma to borrow a bow from me, that might be a problem. You see, this bone is a trophy I took from Skull Greymon when I beat him. I can't let it go so easily, I'm afraid. But well, grandma is a friend of mine. When you put it that way, I suppose I'm okay if you'll play with me first. If you beat me, I'll lend you the bone. You ready? Sure. That sounded a bit wrong. <laughs> Oh, 
send you out. Ow. So much health for a fucking champion Digimon. I should finish him off now. I say should. Alright, start from what I'm gonna do then. Much, but alright. I sure worked up a hell of a sweat. I promise, I promise. I guess here, take it. Make sure you tell Ground One to bring him back to me when he's finished. As this is for cooking with, what are you guys insane? Apparently, so, my friend. Ain't we all insane? Story. Get the story once we've done these cases. The may get into chapter 17 after these as well, maybe. We're on 16 at the moment, right? Ah, it's perfect, thank you. With this, I should be able to finish the ramen. Just wait a sec. Done. I made the ramen. I'd like to take this to my master in Eden. You want me to bring this to her in person? I couldn't, it's too embarrassing. It's the first time I've ever given my master a gift, you see. My master should be at the entrance to Eden, so if you wouldn't mind. Yeah, of course, I do all your biddens. Well, that's did you lab. What do you want with me? Still no tactician USB. <laughs> uh, Eden, I said, right? Need an entrance.
Uh, how are you? What do you want? I'm in a bad mood. Leave me alone. What's this? Ramen? But you're a complete stranger. How do you know that's my favourite food? Wait, where do you even get that? I'm on a diet right now. I'm not eating meals. Ground one? So then you're saying you made this? No, but I can. I'm not allowed to eat ramen or cake or anything like that while I'm on a diet. But it smells so delicious. Maybe. Maybe just a little bit. Hmm, delicious. So delicious. Ah, this is weird. Just can't seem to get enough. That was the first meal my mother had eaten in three days. She hadn't eaten anything and her health was deteriorating. I was worried. But she's okay again. Now that I've given her just ramen, she will surely start eating again. Thank you so much for your help. If it wasn't for you, my master wouldn't have recovered. Anything, Grandma. One of my fave digits. I hope so too, Kiri. I'm so too. No! We're with the coffee, please. Aki Fahara! Honestly, do you not, do people don't know how to leave me alone. What well, Megan Puppet Digimon is made from the body of a cursed Cherrymon? Puppetmon. I'm gonna get me items or stuff that I don't want. I know I can sell them, but I might as well just keep them, just in case I do need them down the line. Because, you never know. Update to Null and Fall! Update again on all in four. Alright, Akka Bahara is our next destination. We're going to speak to Bay Amon. Wherever he is. If I can see him anywhere. Well, clearly through this stuff. See what Digimon will find in there if it's something I don't care about, and then I'm probably gonna put my encounters on. Oh god, which way do we go? Let's go this way first. There's Bancho Liamon. There's an item over there. Well, so we're gonna fight uh, Bancho Liamon again. So we fought one when we were doing the hack one. GG's Kiwi, GG's. I told you we'd lose them. I did say you would lose them. Look, you see this? I'm totally ripped. They should call me your badass Leomon for having such an amazing physique. Uh, yeah? Who are you? Scratch that, doesn't matter. Come over and listen to this anyway. Come on, don't be such a wuss. But let me tell you what Bancho means. The title of Bancho is only given to those who have experienced many battles, hardships and strife, but still manage to stand on their own two feet. And that's what a Bancho is. The power comes from the effort you put in every day to be uh, true to the justice you believe in. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Mrs. Smileband's over there. Well, you're the one not, not being smart. This is the first time Bancho Leomon has grabbed me too, but it looks like he's always like this. I can hear you go on bra bragging non-stop for three hours once you get started. I feel sorry for my friends who have to put out with him. I'm really getting tired of this. 
And he five Digimon have ever earned the title of Banjo. Banjos are basically the greatest of all Digimon. Among them, I'm the greatest of all Banjos. What's the matter? Are you scared? Not to the mention of it. Other than you, who else is the title of Banjo? Uh, well, there uh, have been five. Is that the number? So you did evolve into Banjo, Leomon, and just call yourself Banjo, right? That's, uh, what the hell? This is stupid. I'm going home. Stop. So you think you can just make fun of me like that and get away with it? I'll show you. I'll show you just how strong a Banjo is. Don't just stand there, help! I mean, I've already beaten one before. Oh, fucking acceleration boost, of course it does. Okay, so what is... ...weak again? I need to remember what's weak and not weak. Okay, so, data. What? How oh, dare you nearly kill my star, did you want? River of power. See, this is why you have three of, of one type. It makes battle so much easier. That's why I need another vaccine. And two more viruses, because obviously I'm not going to go into fights with Black and Zugamon or something. Someone might die here. Not gonna be you, it seems. Nope. Easy. Easy claps. Okay, like Baymon said, I accept that you're stronger than me. But please don't tell anyone about this. So you're saying you can anyone, uh, anyone can call themselves a Banjo if they become a Banjo Leomon. Ah, uh, that's what Banjo means. To be a Digimon that all other Digimon respect. If you keep quiet, I'll listen to whatever you have to say. Well, do you know what I've decided to do? What? Everyone hates all long-winded stories. You mean I have to stop bragging, but I love it so much. I understand. I'm sorry I bothered you in my company. Great. You know, it was nice to hear them once in a while, though. Your stories, I mean. So maybe try to keep them a bit shorter. Thank you, Bear Mom. Please, can I just chuck this fucking... Digi line outside? I'm gonna make life easier. So again, pinged 24-7. Right. Two more cases to do. Yes, two more. Don't say any of your coffee, fuck. Please. I don't want to hate you. Day one to develop some mach a medicine machine. Central Hospital. Another farm expansion plugin. 
Okay. The hospital we go. Whereabouts in the hospital, though? Oh, here. Hey, thank you for coming here, Detective. I'm Datamon. Everyone calls me a Dr. Datamon, though. The reason I've called you is, I'm sure you know, is to help me with the development of my new medicine. I, of course, mix med uh, medicinal congregations together. However, I need you to go and gather the medicinal plants I need for this. Plants should be in this visual space, but I need you to go and collect them for me. Okay, how's that help me? The plants could be on the floor. Do I fight Digimon for the, these plants? I mean, you could at least just, like, tell me. Okay, there's one. Is that it? How did it go? Did you manage to find any plants? These are, wow, fine quality plants, thank you. Uh, my apologies, but I need another two in order to make the medicine. Loose ones, wings, and platinum Sukumon's thing. You can find loose one wings by picking up things from the ground, just like that, but Platinum Sukumon's thing is a different story. Sometimes Platinum Sukumon appears around here and drops one when he is defeated. Be patient, but please do your best to look for it, thank you. Oh god. Platinum Sukumon's in here. I might have to go all three. All three Sukumon's, but that's the XP. We're gonna fight a shit mon. Is that just the one? Is it just one we needed? Didn't say how many needed. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'll just go around until. Till that time then. Until Platinum Shitmon wants to show his face. Looks like we found everything. Does, does no one want to show up? Oh, first time. Sorry, Kiwi, I had to. 5,000 XP though. Pattern Super Mario 50, so that's a Digivolve and D Digivolve at some point. Oh, I could train. I could, I could literally train. No, I'm sorry, Kiwi. How did it go? Did you find them? Ah, that's it. Alright, I can't attach you with these loose ones' wings. You just picked up the perfect uh, medicinal. Uh, make sure I'm making now. This Platinum Super One's thing is even shining in a rare metal. That's amazing, truly amazing. Why are you squinting at me like that? Thanks to you, Detective, I'll be able to make a very high quality medicine. With these amazing ingredients, I'll be able to create medicine that nourishes Digimon, improves generally, general bodily function, and... Why are you making that horrible face at me? Anyway, job well done, Detective. Thanks for assisting me. I believe the case has now been solved. Okay. Please, I want to fight another Platinum Super One quickly. That's, that's not planned on Sukumon, I'm afraid. See how much XP I get for three Sukumons fighting another one. Please say it still spawns on it. 
I don't think I'm gonna ever be able to come back here ever again. Oh, that's rapid one. No, okay, we'll just leave him. We won't kill any more platinum super mon shit mons for your Kiwi, don't worry. <clears throat> Not today. But I do need to digivolve this one. And D digivolve. I don't do my farm, right? <clears throat> A7, and I want to digivolve. This should be level 100, 199, shall I say. 74? Okay, we're down to 5 now. I guess. Alright, one more case to go. Save. Have a quick drink a minute. Bear with me. My mouth is getting really dry. Uh. Right. The Kano's are legendary busters. <clears throat> oh, these are back. Hi! Hey there, May. You're early today. Of course. When we heard you had someone intriguing to share over the club, how could we not rush them over? May, calm down. You sound like a little over eager. So I just this just a little worked up. That's May for you, and I wouldn't have it any other way. I see us all saying gang from Ashibayu Hirosaka experiment earlier as well. Hey, kind of be surprised to see you were still part of the cult club. It takes guts to stay around after what happened to Shibayu. Shibaya? Shibuya? I don't know. That's all on May. After that experiment, she really started devoting herself to running the club. She's practically on fire. Wow, I owe it to you all now that I know there are really strange mysterious that are lurking around in the world. <clears throat> Just don't say that I didn't warn you if you get caught up in something serious one of these days. Uh, I'm doing this research precisely to prevent that from ever happening. You have what you're up against is fine, everyone knows that. Anyway, I'm sorry to call you out here when you're so busy as it is. No, it's perfectly fine, I promise. When we hear the occult put somewhere, we can't help but come run as fast as we can. That's the job as in the occult research club. Well, I appreciate your vigor. Still, that being said, Tokyo is more than especially of occult phenomena going on these days, so why bother coming over to our neck of the woods? Uh, well, when you put it like that, is it obvious? The Kano is leagues apart from anywhere, anything else you could call an occult mecca around here. Exactly, I couldn't even put it by myself, Kenji. That's just why I'd hate you out for the vice president. <laughs> Yeesh, Kenji, you're not exactly doing us any favours getting her all hyped up even more, you know. Well, what I say is, all, is still true. All sorts of weird and unusual things get down here in the counter. I mean, there's this bleeding moral that's said to have blood gushing out of the mouths and eyes in the lobby of the first floor lobby for starters. There's also that skeleton pool, homes for a pile of abandoned corpses that turned to bones every, overnight. Oh, lovely. Rumor also has it that late at night there are people clad in white flying over the roof while holding a hidden sabbat. And then you've also got the mysterious fish strains that have poured down over the counter for ages. Foretelling imminent to misfortune. All of those things remain unsold, so naturally. Finally, should have mentioned those specifically because I eventually actually sold all of them already. What? You did? You already sold them? Was this already talk? It's my home base, and as a detective, if you tell me something weird is up, of course I'm going to look around. It's all along in the past. What a long face. I didn't say the case wouldn't be up your alley. As for your reward in some round, how about I give you guys my file with all the so-called supernatural cases I've worked on? Oh then, of course we'll do it. Tell us more. That's the spirit. I fully intend to make use of your club's unique expertise for today's case. As we've already discussed, Tokyo has become a real hot bed for supernatural and it goes without well saying that the can is no exception. The reports and complaints I've been getting from other tenants don't look uh, to be let enough anytime soon, so they've asked me to solve some. 
But even with my system aboard, there are just too many of us to handle by ourselves. There are essentially four different odd phenomena going around here, and I want you guys to solve with your passion and young sensibility. Four oddities. Okay, go on. First, I want you to figure out what's behind three-legged Matthew, who wanders around these parts in search of something. And I want you to look into that Kata Kata, who roams the floors of the Callow Broadway. After that, go look into the Reaper Elevator, who sends from the basement to the fourth floor at 2am. And last, but certainly not least, uh, see what you can find about the Master Tip Tap, a spirit. Uh, these all sound great, this is going to be a lots of fun to work on. I give any pleasures and names based on Nightwind's accounts I've heard. Now it's on you guys to summon the Callow's Urban Legends, alright? What do you say? Will you go for it? Okay, this is so exciting. I work out a way to get over the side. Okay, we're headed to KK after formulate our plan on a double. Lovely. May you wait up. These two sure can't contain themselves. Well, we better indulge them and head on over. Not like we have much of a choice. Don't think you get to take, take it easy now. You're joining up with them too. Uh, this might be a bit awkward to ask, but I've noticed your assistant kind of just zones out sometimes. Is everything alright? It's nothing too severe right now, but I can tell things are starting to get unstable with Mark's body. Control over data is slipping. Really? Your mark seems to have even forgotten what's happened there. Hmm. Interesting. Well, now that we're well into the night, our time has finally come to spring into action. Since we're here, we might as well start on the first floor. We're going through every floor and checking whether these strange things are actually taking place, right? Right, since the reports of three-legged Matthew seem to centre around this floor, we'll start with what, that for now and go from there. Here, all right, let's get to work. Okay. I figured out a little, a little three-legged Matthew's backstory, so get this. 30 years ago, there was a popular Anita doll whose clothes you could swap out. Matthew was another doll who was her ex-boyfriend. Originally, he was described as being her fiancé, but another male doll that showed up later, Lance, a diplomat, became popular. At some point, Lance and Anita got hitched, and Matthew was relegated to the ex-boyfriend position. Oh. Couldn't get away if I was just a bad direction to head in this hour. Why? Was it a bad direction to head in this hour? Turns out there's an epilogue of sorts to Matthew's story. After he lost Anita to Lance, Matthew went insane and attacked Lance, chopping his body up and sending the pieces to Anita. Oh, fuck me. God, what the fuck? But things didn't go entirely according to plan when he tried to send her the final piece to her, a single leg. Because, as it turned out, Anita was putting Lance's body back together using forbidden dark magic. What Matthew did in response was attach that final leg to his own body, ostensibly in an effort to ensure Lance could never be revived. Ever since, he's apparently been walking around with much difficulty on his three legs, roaming around about here and there. Forever searching for memories of the good old days he and Anita once had. Ch cheers. That. Digimon. Interesting. Hey, you know, I think Manako and Kenji make a cute pair, don't you? Oh, don't tell me them. I don't tell them I said that, okay? Well, you're useless. The Cal Broadway at night feels really creepy. I mean, during the day, there's some floors I don't like visiting, but this is something else. Not really out of the ordinary here. Right, on to the second floor. Now to turn our attention to Kata Kata. Well, time's a waste, then off we go. From what I can tell, Katakata is derived from the famous Teki Teki legend. Teki Teki is an apparition who lost her feet in a train accident. She could travel up to 150 kilometers, uh, kilometers with uh, just her arms, laughing as she pursues people. Katakata is therefore an altered form that Teki Teki came to adopt after many years. The name Teki Teki supposedly comes from the sound she makes when she moves with her arms. So uh, where does Kata Kata come from? I don't know, I don't think I really want to know to be honest with you. Try not to make Kiwi scared here. Manika is such a fraidy cat but she still loves it when Kenji talks about occult stories all passionately and stuff. These aren't even doing their job. I don't think anybody uh, up against a spirit that could go 150 kilometers would be have any hope would have any hope uh, of escaping. If you bump into it, it's game over. Oh, nothing on this floor. Nothing to report here either. Let's make our way up to the third floor. We'll have to, uh, what will run up here, I wonder? 
I don't want me to find how to split up or get to work, everyone. You seem totally bored, Ellie. You're just spouting weird stuff now. Hey, Manica, how are things going with you and Kenji? How far have you two progressed? Tell me, tell me. What about times I have to talk about love in the middle of the night? Sure. If you happen to meet Katakata, she'll ask, I need your legs. And if you don't give her the right response, she'll run off with yours. What's the right response? It's I'm using them right now. She's surprisingly cooperative, it turns out. I'm sure she is. I'm sure she is. Oh, hey, I think I figured out what she's called Katakata. Katakata originally lost her legs after falling into train tracks in her coda. So maybe her name comes from the sound teeth making one chatter, make one chattering. Why is anything special happening tonight? We've got one more floor to go. Surely there's something to find on the fourth floor. Come on, let's head for the elevator. Alright, come to us, so Reaper Elevator. Make thyself known before us. It's past 2am now. Why? Why isn't anything showing up? I called out to it and everything, but there's no sign of it appearing at all. This sucks. I hate it. I just want to see the Grim Reaper at least once in my lifetime. Is that too much to ask? Oh, God. There's the case. Still hope. Just keep it together. Well, I never took it to be the type to throw attention when things go poorly. Mate, we're getting worried about you. Why don't you take a little break at KCAF? When we met up earlier yesterday afternoon, the owner said it was fine to use it as a break room. It shouldn't be locked. She's not going to listen to reason. I'm in favour of it. I'm beat. I could use a rest after all that investigation. You did nothing. You just stood around. We can't. There's still codes to code to check. We have to check everything again. Top to bottom. There has to be someone here. I just know it. Alright, we get it. Let's just go inside KCAF for a bit so we can reassess the situation. Sound good to you? There's nothing here. No ghosts, no spirits, nothing. Nothing. Oh, cheer up. Since when does the good stuff ever happen on the first day you do this sort of work? I just want to see Matthew, Katakata, the Reaper Elevator, the Master Tip Tap. It's okay, mate, really. I'm sure something will come along soon. Really? You sure? Eep. Uh, what's wrong? Don't you guys hear it? You're right. Is that the elevator? Maybe it's Kyoko. But she's not the only resident here. Who could it be? Wait, maybe it's a cop. That sound just now. Did the elevator just arrive on this floor? It must have. It's a repro elevator. It came. I knew it was real all along. Tip tap, tip tap. Oh my god, that sound. Is that master tip tap? Kata, 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 kata. But now it's a different sound. Don't tell me it's. Ah! Ah. Wait, was that somebody's voice? Well, oh, what's going on? What are you kids doing in here? We can ask the same question. Why are you here so late? Late, Mrs. It's morning already. You always coming to relax around this time. But it's not even four yet. Well, actually, it makes sense. My well, grandpa tends to get up really early too. Oh, I get it now. I just want to kick our phone around the space unlocked so this guy can use it. Hey, Mark, what's wrong? Wait, am I seeing what, I'm, what I think I am? Is that a third leg? What are you blabbering about? Those dentures, are they making that chattering noise because they're misaligned? You also came from an elevator, which would make you the Reaper. Who are you calling a Reaper? And a Tama sound must come from... No, you mean Tama this old guy is the one behind all the local urban legends here? You have to be. Nah, it's Kiwi actually. That looks like Kiwi. You have to be. You have to be kidding. Oh. May's mournful cries could be heard all throughout the building that night. So it looks like you guys came through and solved all the mysteries. I couldn't have asked for a better end result than what you found out. What's so good about it? All just because that old guy takes early morning walks. Perhaps, but as they say, truly strange in the fiction. Get real here. Who could have ever seen any of this coming? Uh, um... Uh, um, 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 um. Let me ask you something. Why are you out running around solving mysteries? What are you picturing inside your head? Do you see things in pitch dark? Or did you hear things in deathland silence? Personally, in my opinion, I'd say such strong human imaginations are key to engaging in supernatural research. Hmm, I feel like I kind of get it, but I don't at the same time. Ah, oh, lucky Kiwi. That is just my own thoughts on the matter. Don't read too deeply into them. Hopefully, having reached a conclusion that you guys have has given you some things to think about individually. 
Now, as promised, I believe I have my files to hand off as you're all... Those won't be necessary. We'll solve those other mysteries ourselves for our own efforts. Our own efforts and our boundless passion and imagination. That's a fantastic attitude to have. Well, Kenji, that's actually kind of cool of you to say that. Perhaps I was out of line then, if you insist that much, and I won't worry about. I know, we'll still gladly take off your hands, detective. What are you saying, mate? Haven't you been paying any attention to what's going on? So, do you mean to tell me... Do you, you mean to tell you me your... What? Do you mean to tell you me you're not even a little interested in what's inside those files? Rainy really, Manica? Bit of a typo, though. Uh, well, maybe just a little. If you are, then I'll just go ahead and read them by myself. Hey, that's not fair. Man, here I was thinking I was acting cool for once, too. Ah, oh, Kenzie, you did great. Don't let this get you down. Just try harder next time. Well, I'm going to take off now. Catch you two later. Looks like it's just two of us again, Mark. I didn't expect them to run off with only one of my files. Either way, we can now report back to the other tenants that those issues have been taken care of. Hopefully that will improve our standing a little. Those cult kids or something, though. They're growing up fast. Maybe one of these days they'll start to be friendly rivals of yours. That'd be fun, right? Sure. What makes me drag my old bones out here every morning, I wonder? This place feels real nostalgic to me for some reason, but I can't pinpoint the reason why. What the? It's Pete! Miko. <sighs> oh, it was this Digimon. Back in that day. Interesting scenes. Hey, White Tiger, 1901. Thank you for the follow. Can we get some cynical waves in the chat? How are you doing, buddy? Hope you enjoy your stay here. Slow frag up. It's always interesting how mysteries often lead to and tie into one another. But I digress. Great work as always. Get ready for another case soon. Uh, what do I do now? Seeing Pete in a while. I doubt he's left the kind of Broadway where someone's been trouble to go find him. Okay, because I clearly know where he is. You doing alright to play some Digimon? Ooh, let's go. What Digimon? You playing the story sleuth or Digimon World? Okay, so where would a Wanyamon be? Is he gonna be? Is he gonna be in the ca uh, calf? No. Okay. Oh my god! It's bloody digi line. Are you playing uh, Cyber Zoo as well? Let's go. Have you played it before, or? Cause I'm hoping it's a spoiler for you. Okay, well, he's clearly not here. Ah, oh, there he is. Oh, it's you, huh? Do, do you know what I am? Because I don't. I don't feel anything at all. Not a thing. Paid for? Ah, oh, okay. Not too bad, not too bad. How far are you in at the minute? What happened? What? Pete disappeared in front of you. Mm, just come back here for now. A new case is coming for case called Full Concern. It can be related to what you just witnessed. Pardon me. Cases, cases, cases galore. Just got a new Digimon. I'm on chapter 10. Oh, let's go. Let's go. I'm on 16. Right now. This case comes from an old man, Mizushima. You might remember him as the one beyond his other, four other legends. He used to investigate with the occult club members. It well and truly is a small world out there, even when it feels bigger than ever in some ways. Anyway, he tasked us with tracking down his cat. Frankly, during his times like this, there's something to be said for a down-to-earth gig like this one. Mizushima is said he'd be waiting for you in KKF, although he didn't actually state when. 
it wouldn't go hard to go on ahead and check if it's out of cast, so go do that. Just got Omni One's War. Oh, let's go. That's um, the black version, isn't it? <clears throat> I ain't got any of the Royal Knights or anything. At the moment, we are rocking Mega Cargamon, the Metal Siegemon, Ross Tyranamon, three Platinum Sukumons, Botmon, Lotusmon, Seraph Seraphimon, and Belgemon. We do need to get another virus and vaccine Digimon at some point. Okay. Feels like it stopped. I wonder if it was an earthquake. Welcome. Grab a drink, have a seat, and stay as long as you like. An earthquake? No, I didn't feel anything of the sort. So, old man Mizushima is not in right now. Alright. You were dreaming about him there early in the morning, right? Might as well come back around the same time and see if he shows up. <clears throat> Next day, early morning. Let's have a cake calf. Old man and Mr. Shima should hopefully be there at this hour. Well, let's just hope so. Unless he's got kidnapped or something. Close to getting another new one. Oh, nice. Who, who are you rocking at the moment? Oh, it's you again. I've been awaiting, you know. Hmm, you started by yesterday afternoon but couldn't find me? You must have just had a bad timing, kid. I've been waiting here forever for you. What's done is done. Let's just let bygones be bygones and start searching now. My Mika, you see, he's inside this wall here. I got a K cap right now. I'm picking up readings of really strong digital wave vibrations from the fourth floor. It's a really huge current coursing through here. My mind is on that old time castle being the cause of them. What's that, an earthquake? No, I can confirm it's definitely not. There's no movement here on the first floor. You just sense an intense digital wet. It's... I don't want to know. It's better not knowing. Things are fine as they are now. It's better if they don't change. Please stop. Don't wake me up from this. It's Miko. No, I'm Pete. Wherever you are, Miko, just come, come back to me. No, I can't. That's too much to ask of me. I'm not. Mark, please leave me alone. Let things stay just the way they are. I'm sorry, Miko. I'm sorry. Um, I know you just have a V-mon, a Churney-mon, a three platinum noon mons for leveling up. Oh, platinum super mons. Wait, three platinum noon mons? Oh, are you, playing, are you playing a new game plus then? I would expect then. Did I finally get through to you again? The probations have stopped for now, but the digital waves are still as tense as ever. There's something big brewing in there. As I suspected earlier, they're coming from the old vacuum tube computer inside the wall. The digital waves are just gushing out there from the old intranet lines that computers hooked up to. So much so, in fact, that they are forming a cybernetic ley line, a digital line of sorts. If this thing persists, there's only a matter of time before it uh, affects a felt in the real world. Mark, I need to go inside that vacuum tube computer and do what you can to stop it. I'm counting on you. Thank you. Oh my god, please leave me alone. Still no tactics in USA, USB. You're letting me down, Tom. You're letting me down. Please let me be. Don't wake me from this dream. What's going on with Pete? Only one way to find out. No, you can't do New Game Plus yet? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I got you, I got you. Not gonna lie, we've already been here, so we shouldn't be any items. Probably Monzi Mon. Monzi Mon. Mon. All right, let's go and see what's up with Mr. Beat. Is this a different network? I feel like it is. Don't want to go that way.
Once we have our true name one, I'm going to put a team together. Oh, let's go. Have you played online on it before? I imagine that's really hard. Why do you have to know who I really am? I mean, I don't, but no response. That's fine, Pete. I'm not going to lie to you, I don't want to know who you really are, but I ain't got no choice. Items! This is basically going to be memory fragments for, for him. That's just a bit rude. Blow him away. Blow him. Can I Broadway construction part one? Construction plans from the Can I Broadway hereby abbreviated as NB were announced in 1959. Also, it's taken seven years to complete. A reason for the lengthy duration was due to a major issue that routinely manifested throughout the process. During land leveling, underground water leaked, resulting in immediate halt to any and all work within the area. A large lake formed and the site was left alone for a long time. Mysteriously, large fish appeared en masse, attracting the fishermen. Records also indicate people bathed there in large numbers and a child at one point drowned in the lake. Today something terrible happened. A strange fisherman appeared in the middle of my bed, so it was cold in there. It was so cold in there. Even when I tried calling out for help, nobody came for me. But these two detectives eventually showed up. Kyoko and Mark. Mark asked who I was, but I said I didn't know. So Kyoko gave me a name. She decided to call me Pete because I'm some sort of time capsule. Yeah, Pete, that's my name. I may be so happy to have one. Names are really special things to have. Okay. Fair enough. I mean, I love Digimon, don't get me wrong, but I don't really care about the history. Of Japan, to be quite honest. Also, I don't know if I'm going to be reading these in order or not. Part 2! No blueprints exist for NB. 1961 saw so the Japanese government commence its incoming double, income doubling plan in order to re-energise re the post-war economy. Teams on the one swords on force feature one can them on. Oh, let's go. I love on force feature one. It's one of my favourites. In tandem of unemployment policies, public works projects flood the country with major construction companies a lot of huge budgets. Around 1962, one such project, the main route for the Shutu Expressway, was completed ahead of schedule. It was at the point so that the tension turned back towards the NB. Idle labourers and resources were funneled into the area from central Tokyo, at which point work on the building commenced in earnest. It's likely that there wasn't time to even think of preparing proper blueprints for uh, NB at that stage. Yoshite really likes his girl named Fiyam Yuki. Uh, he always sits, on, sits me on his lap and tells me all about her. Everything is perfect about her, he says. Her singing, her dancing, her looks, everything. He says she's one in a million among idols. I can't do any of those things. I can't sing and I can't dance. But what can I, I can do is curl up and fall asleep on Yoshito's lap. I love doing that. I also love, just love hearing Yoshito's talk to me so happily. Okay. So, um, I'm not gonna find him.
Time to heal yourself. The kind of Broadway construction in part three, with no blueprints to draw upon, concrete was poured and rebar was erected, tailored to the land around the site. When construction was concluded four years later, the final building had three underground floors, as well as ten floors above ground. East Asia's greatest commercial building was therefore constructed on little more than sheer willpower. However, this came at a cost to some aspects of NB's integrity. Uh, the escalator, for instance, only connects first three floors. Most of the underground floors have also gone unused in the ensuing years. Such quirks are the direct results of the circumstances surrounding the building's inception. Yoshida told me that he and his son have been to a World's Fair once. He said that the line to see the moon rocks was really long, so long that it made him tired. But he said his son still had a good time. People also call Yoshida Chief Mizushima. His full name is Yoshita Mizushima. Yoshita is a big important man in the computer room, so he doesn't go, get to go out with his son much. He's glad that they got to see the World's Fair. I wish I could have, been, could have seen the World's Fair with Yoshito too, but he and I are always together in the computer room. So that's okay, I'm content. Okay. Why is there a firewall here? A bit random. Eliminate the encounters. Restraint chip, okay. Uh, how many of these do we need to find? Yeah, secret stuff, Marge. Of course it is, Kiwi. Of course it is. Wait, where the fuck am I? Part 4! In most cases, large commercial buildings are run by their owners. You can control everything from PR to tenants and internal bylaws. BW was an exception to that rule. From the very start, shop and residential spaces alike were sold a piece of meal. People who brought their real estate inside the building were then free to utilise it however they pleased. Because of this, soon after NB opened, shop owners and residents started remodeling and work on their respective stores and apartments. In the end, this meant that formal blueprints for NB weren't drafted and until eight years after the building was originally completed. Even in those early days, the building's layout had already become too unwieldy for anyone to fully grasp at this stage. Yoshito always has me sitting on his lap, patting my head all nice and gently. I love Yoshito. Yoshito always calls me. Miko. Miko was a girl's name. But Yoshito gave it to me, so I love it. Is that everything? What am I missing? I've been everywhere. I don't know how many parts there are. There's one more up there I haven't been to. Part 5! The basement of Broadway once housed a vacuum tube computer within its walls. It had been brought into the building after the end of World War II by war criminals who evaded arrest, shielded from Brian Eyes and MacArthur's GHQ. The vacuum tube crew's purpose in those days remains a mystery. It's possible it could have been utilised for things such as mathematical computations or code breaking, but such speculations are unconfirmed. As time went on, there was eventually nobody left to carry on the original, originally 
purpose set forth for the terminal. At that point, the computer was apparently buried inside a wall somewhere. It's dark in here. All dark, I can't see a thing. I'm okay being in the dark, I'm not scared of it or anything. But it's never been this dark before. You see, it's not here. I don't even smell him. I can't go back outside. Yoshito, where are you? Yoshito. Yoshito. Please sit me on your lap and pet my head again. Yoshito. Yoshi. To. Now you know. Now I know who I really am. I'm. I'm. So it's begun. Now I have to say this for a bit more than I bargained for. If this keeps up, the building's going to collapse for sure. Who am I? Somebody, anybody, tell me. Pete, no, that's not right. That's not right. Why am I fighting you? Oh, for fuck's sake, this shitty Texas shite. That's fine, he's got no SP, you can panic him. Honestly, why am I getting, like, hurt so much by a fucking baby Digimon? Cheers. It's really a wild one in my life. Just for attacking your own teammates. Thank you. Oh, fuck. You're doing more damage to me than I do to you. I don't understand. Well, I'm a mega Digimon and you're a baby. Yeah, that's right. My name is Miko. Yoshito is my friend. Pete is your friend. Yoshito's calling out for me. He's been looking for me this whole time. He found me. Yoshito. Well, it looks like the tremors have stopped. Just in the nick of time, too. That's my assistant for you, done well. Now, have to, now I don't have to worry about my broken coffee cups. Oh, fuck your coffee. <laughs> Miko, Miko, it's really you. It's you too, I'm so sorry. You've been waiting for me for so long. I'm the one who should be apologising here, Miko. I'm the one who left you alone this whole time. So sorry, my friend. No, it's okay, really. You don't have to be sorry. I know you've been waiting for me since day, the day you had to go. Oh, Miko. Thank you. If it wasn't for you, I'd never live to see Miko with my own eyes again. I should probably explain. You see, back when, uh, back when the vacuum tube computer room was still around, I lived in this building away from my family. Computer room where I used to work. The only family I've ever had with me that whole time was Miko here. I told Miko about everything there. I'm raised with my family. Fumi, Yuki, anything to help keep my loneliness at bay in there. He would join me in the computer room and we spent many, many hours together over the years. Eventually they closed down the room and sealed the whole thing off with a thick wall like it was ne never there to begin with. It was around that time that I lost Miko too. I couldn't find him wherever I looked. I had a bad feeling about where he might have ended up but came back here who knows how many times to rescue him. But in the end I couldn't do anything for him. I gave up and over time nearly forgot about him. Before I knew it, it had been decades since we last been together. I can't thank you enough for making this happen. We couldn't have been reunited without you, kid. 
Thank you. Thank you so much. Now we can go back to living together again. Thank you. I'll never, ever forget this day. I see. Nice work. I can only imagine how hard it was, but you really did a good job. So our Pete was actually a cat named Miko, sealed deep inside a wall along with our old vacuum tube computer from the American occupation days. Somehow using that building's intranet or rather the power of his ley line immersed the computer and became a Digimon. The old cat's had a hell of a life, wouldn't you agree, Mark? We can't say for sure what the actual assimilation process entailed, but at this point we know better than to doubt it happened. It's amazing just how much and yet how little the digital and real worlds are siphoned off from one another. I imagine the reason Pete showed up again after all those years is because of the digital wave abnormalities we've seen. But you know, there's still one thing about the whole story that bugs me a little. You mentioned that towards the end, old man Mr. Shumi said, now we can go back to living together again, right? What do you think he meant by that? Not only that, but in the case you solved earlier, where is one behind the other legends? How do you keep breaking into the building? Let's assume for the sake of argument that he somehow had access to the entrance, so I let him come and go at the time, and he did. If he physically had been getting into the building so much of the way he was being reported, you think something would have gone differently? Got any theory you'd like to propose? Yoshito Mizushima. If you look into his backstory, you might be able to find our answers pretty easily. What do you think? Should we dig a little more? Please, the USB. Don't go looking for us. Ah, that's understandable. Then it's probably best we do indeed let sleeping dogs lie. Alternatively, we could let the occult kids uh, know about this. I bet they've had a real filled day after going, going after it. I mean, they came face to face with a real... You know what? Nah, let's keep it to ourselves. Not all mysteries in this world need to be solved. The Kano Broadway brings many things together. The spirit world and the world of the living. The normal and the surreal. And now the physical and the digital. I love this music. Truly, nothing is impossible in this crazy hole in the wall we call home. And that is our last case, the case. Well, it looks like it's just you and me again here. The cats look so angry about Pete around. We better, get more client, better get more clients to keep them warm. Oh, what? Why are we taking on some cases? I've done them all. Haven't I? Unless something's going to happen while I leave. Yep. Hey! Oh, hello, Haritar. Sorry, but I'm in a hurry. I have a message for you. Come to Adiba. Seidu said that the week of next someone will be heading back there. So a chance to defeat Exomon. Help Seidu. Seidu. No, I don't want to help him. This is Hello, Come alone. Don't tell Kyoko or anyone else. Just you. See you later. Bye. Favorite person, indeed. Do I tell her? Can I, can I tell her? Yeah, hey, I would just stand by and wait. Aren't people always waiting for something not that many different? Okay, what well, if someone else had another? I love Arata. Arata's amazing. Gotta love Arata. Oh, another farm expansion. Update on Island 4. We got another one as well. Update to Island 4 again. Someone chapter sixteen. Oh, 
company has to buy everything, I'm not gonna lie to you. So, it looks like we're going to go fight Exome 1. Where's Aratar? Looks like Aratar's gonna help us. What was Exome 1 before? He was a vaccine, right? No. Was he a virus? Or was he data? I can't if I remember. No idea, yeah. Ah, never eat her. Good luck. Oh, Chitaka.待ってたぜ。さっさとあのデカブツを片付けるぞ。オタクのお仲間にゾロゾロ来られるとよっこいだからな。ああ、そういやスウェドから聞いてるぜ。オタクがエグザモンを酔わらせたんだろ。やるじ
This is a bit of a bother here, isn't it? Um... No, I didn't cry. <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> what if I bring Lotus Mono? No? Yeah, because she could lower the defense. Uh, no, I didn't. <laughs> He's gonna fucking pummel me in a minute. Yeah, Erica's my favorite. I like Ryuji as well. Ryuji. With, um, a bucket of mom. Whatever he was fucking called. He is going to destroy my ass. Apparently defense isn't going down, so I don't think there's any point in me even trying. See, like I said, this is why you have three of each. I don't think Platinum Shipmon is going to do any anything here. Uh -huh. He's gonna get ready for his fucking big attack, though, I guess. Oh my god, this is gonna fucking hurt. Who's dying here? One or two. Here it is. Oh, he attacked him. Thank fuck. Take about that. Have an attack up again. Fuck. Oh, someone's dying now. Yep, told you. For fuck's sake. Fucking change. Oi, how not it? No, I don't do I'm literally just brought these fucking three different back out. Now you're gonna knock them back.
Oh, no, it just takes a biscuit, doesn't it? Throw some shit at him! Oh, that doesn't look good. Throw some more shit at him! What? Aren't oh, they diamond? The fuck did my attack miss there? everyone for missing. Appreciate it. All right, can we actually finish him off now, please? Oh my god. Shit, I'm gonna finish him off. Or oh, Aratar's gonna finish him off. Like, ah, I was about to finish him off. Maybe not. Hey, yeah, Kiwi. Shit, I'm gonna finish him off for you. Five thousand XP. Is that it? We've got sixty grand though. Nice! Nice indeed. Cool. So yeah, she's gonna go and try eat it. Nanda ま、言わなくても大体わかるけどな。なんか。つうか、自分でもわかってるんだ。あいつに利用されてるかもしれねえってよ。ま、イズエブリワンアラタ。いろいろ考えるのに疲れちまったんだわ。めんどくせえことは
Oh, that was interesting. You all are XM1? Just chilling there behind me, not trying to eat me. しかし、弱体化したとはいえ、あのクルエル竜を撃破してしまうとは。やはり私が見込んだだけのことはあるな。さすが私だ。これは君とデジモンたちの絆が成し遂げたこと。ロイヤルナイツの戦闘能力はおろか。彼もまたロイヤルナイツに被験するほどの戦闘能力を得た。情動ではありえないほど。いや、すでに我々の新たな脅威と言えるかもしれない。が、彼のことは君に一任する。君らしく半身の体当たりで解決したまえ。きっと